power up guide unreal engine 5. hey guys welcome to six labs my name is rise and this is leroy today we're going to create a speed boost power up and send him flying this is our second video in our five minute mechanic series so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or visit our playlist at six labs to quickly learn new abilities that you can add to your game let's begin so to follow along, I provided the Niagara FX model, animation, and sound files as free downloads in the description below. So feel free to use these as placeholders for now. And once you have these downloaded, you can create a power ups or speed boost folder, and then simply drag and drop your files to import. Also note the animation is modeled to the UE5 Manny skeleton, so when importing, you have to scroll down and select SKM Manny as your skeleton, and then you're all set. So to make our speed boost, we're going to use this much nicer Niagara effect instead of a static mesh. And to do that, we're going to right click, go to blueprint class, make this a actor blueprint. I'm going to name it BP speed boost. Once you have that, you're going to double click, open this up, and we're going to add a Niagara particle system component. If you look to your right on this drop down, we're going to search NS speed boost. Here's our boost. And now we're going to give it a collision. So we're going to use a capsule collision since this fits probably the best shape wise. Um, this looks good here. And now we're gonna add a rotator. So this is rotating movement and we can just leave this by default. It actually has a really good value and moves it by default. And we can compile save, go to our event graph and delete these. And so everything we're gonna build is gonna be off of our collision. So we're gonna click our capsule here. We're gonna scroll down. Go to on component begin overlap and now we're going to start with cast 2 bp third person character we're going to do other actor to object and then we're going to go spawn system attached so this here is going to attach our um our boost trailing effect to our character so we're going to want to use it from our character get mesh that way it attaches to our character and for this, this actually does not export as an FBX, so I wasn't able to provide this. Um, so you can use any emitter that you have. However, if you want this exact one, you can go to Window Fab and easily download this for free. Just search pickups and it's this first pack right here. You'll see this is the one I'm using. Well, this pack also has this um, emitter right here called NS Coin Shower. I have mine renamed here to Speed Trail. And if you attach it to um, our character right here it actually um, automatically trails it right behind his feet and it's just perfectly set up so if you want you can just grab that to use that if not you can use your own so mine would be NS speed trail so once our character um, runs over a boost we're gonna do set visibility that way our boost disappears once we run over it and now we want to make sure we destroy component that way we can activate it again. Even though it's disappeared, we could still activate it again if we ran over the same spot. So you wanna make sure to destroy component. Also, we're gonna to need to grab our capsule here and make our capsule the target. And our visibility needs to be our Niagara effect. That way it disables the visibility of the effect and then the capsule is destroyed. So once we run over it, we're going to play this sound and our first sound here is going to be SW activate speed. Now we're going to play montage and this is going to be from our animation. So what you're going to want to do now is right click on your animation sequence and you're going to go to create and you're going to create an and montage. And we're going to use AS boost power montage. So now in order to use this without your character sliding across the ground, we're going to need to blend the animation to only the upper half of your body. And to do that, we can go to our animation graph. And if you're in 5.6, this should be your default setup. And it's pretty simple to do this. Honestly, um, just unplug these two and we're going to cache our main state. So you're going to do new saved cache pose. Just type main state and we're just going to cache this really quickly. And now we're going to add layered blend per bone and with this we're going to do cache state main state here and we can control d we're going to need two of these and our new setup is going to look like this we're going to take our control rig we're going to attach this here 
And now we're going to use this to attach our default slot to player montages. And this is going to go into base pose. And this is going to go into blend pose. And now this will be our result. So now with this setup, we can go into layered blend per bone. And we're going to add one array element here under branch filters. And under index, our bone name is going to be spine 01. So under your skeleton, spine one is the closest bone to blend only your upper half here. So with that, we're also going to do mesh space rotation blend. And we're also going to check mesh space scale blend. And that's all you need here. Um, we're going to compile save. So now as a quick test with our dummy boost, you can see that our animation is no longer sliding. And now that you have that, we're going to continue on by setting our walk speed to double the rate so he's faster. And to do that, we're going to go back to our casted character here and we're going to grab our movement component. So we're going to do get movement, get character movement. And we're going to bring this over here. And with this, we're going to do set max walk speed. And we're going to plug this in. So if you were to check your um, your character here and go to his character movement component on the left, you'll see that his max um, walk speed is 700. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to set this now to double that to 1400. Now we're going to do this trick to speed up our character animations and we're going to use this time dilation node. But instead of global time dilation, we're going to do custom time dilation. Um, the global is going to set your whole level, but this custom one is going to be just to our casted character here. And we're going to set this to 1.5. And from here, we're going to play our next sound as he enters his speed mode. This is going to be SW boost wind to give this wind sound. And then we're going to use a delay to create how long he's going to be running for. So we're going to make this 10 seconds. And after he's done running, we're just going to set um, our speed and our time dilation back. So with that, we're going to reuse our character movement here and do set max walk speed. And this is going to be back to our 700 and our time dilation custom time dilation is going to be back to one. So this is our full graph right here. And once you have this compile, save. Now we're going to go back to our scene and we're just going to test this out. Okay. So it didn't play our animation. So I think, uh, okay. Yeah. So what we need to do now is actually make this from completed. That way it plays through our animation before it activates our boost and also our skeletal mesh needs to be plugged in here from our character. So this should be from our mesh to here. There we go. For this to look more fluent, our custom time dilations should actually be coming from our character. So we're going to want this to come from here. Set custom time dilation. And we're going to put this right here. Double click this. Connect these. And now we can control D. Duplicate this. Bring this here. And we're going to do the same. And connect this to our character. And so this doesn't look so messy. We're just going to double click our lines here and make this branch out a bit. And that should solve our problem here. So now our animations are directly tied to the character. Oh, okay. So, oh, that froze us in place. So <laughs> this needs to be 1.5 and this needs to be one. All right, compile, save. And we should be good now. There we go. Now we have our nice realistic speed boost. And should bring us right back to normal. Yep. 
So now that we have our speed boost fixed and finished out, we can now activate this. Create an obstacle course if you want to. It's pretty fun to use. If you found this video helpful, leave us a like and subscribe or drop a comment below and tell us what you think. I will have another system coming out next week and I hope to see you there. So until next time, see you guys.